Ducks. 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 Welcome to Documentary, the bloodiest story. In this documentary, we seek the opinion of these four individuals from different backgrounds about the ways that bread affects ducks. This is then explained by Chris Moffat, a specialist in water birds and joint owner of Wolf Emporium. So our first question is, what are your experiences with feeding ducks? When I lived uh, inside a village and there was a lot of water, so I saw a lot of dogs and I used to feed them a lot and I quite enjoyed it. I also find it quite ungrateful, you know. Um, I come down there, take time out of my day to, you know, sometimes bring the bread and they're all pecking at your fingers and just, honestly, I don't feel like I'm, you know, being fanned enough for the duck community. Why do you think people normally feed ducks bread? I think people feed ducks bread probably because it's just the thing that's like easiest to have in your house and people don't really know that it affects the ducks. So they just think, I've got, got a leftover bread that's got a bit of stale, the ducks will like that, and then take it out to the duck pond. Most people don't want to spend extra money on, on duck food, so therefore I've got bread, I'll use it. I believe it's because it's you know the most kind of representative food to give to ducks in the media. So obviously whenever you go out and you see a TV show of an old lady feeding a duck, it's always, oh, I'm feeding the bread. I mean, not necessarily for ducks, it's usually birds in general. Is the experience enjoyable for you? I feel the experience is rather enjoyable, unless you get chased by the ducks after you lose all your bread uh, in the end. But overall, yes, yeah, so it's quite an enjoyable experience. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy feeding ducks. It kind of gives them, kind of helps you provide for them, helps you give them some food and it's quite quite satisfying seeing the quack, the quack, quack, quack and the, the water all out of the pond or in the pond and the, well it's not the fight but the competition to get that last bit of bread or whatever you're chucking to give the ducks. Do you believe that bread is harmful to ducks? I, I do actually, I, I heard somewhere that it's kind of like junk food to them so they recommend that you bring seeds and corn and stuff like that so that's what we're doing for you know the future. I think feeding bread to ducks is like Really fine. I've never, I haven't heard anything about it being wrong. It's kind of, it's the thing that most people do. Most people want to get the duck when they give, give the ducks some bread or something. Um, I haven't seen any news reports about it or anything. So, if it's wrong and if they, they like to eat something else or there's something else that would be better, it would be interesting to see. Do you have an idea of an alternative food for ducks? Alternative products would probably be something like seeds or uh, potentially oats. Porridge oats, they're all good substitutes. Um, but yeah, I'd say, I'd say probably mostly seeds, as they are usually what you're given whenever you uh, go to, say, a farm or something to feed ducks, they'll give you seeds to feed them. Ducks. Well, if you can't feed them bread, then I guess like oats uh, would be a better option, maybe. So now we know the general public's opinion, we now talk to our specialist, Chris Moffat, to understand how bread affects ducks scientifically. His company tries to prevent the public from feeding ducks bread by selling cups of duck feed. What do ducks naturally eat in the wild? Ducks and other wildfowl mainly live on vegetation when they're in their wild state and that can be various um, aquatic creatures as well if they, if they go along and suck up those plants and, um, and they sometimes dive underwater as well to the bed of the river. And this is freshwater wildfowl and um, that's their natural. What is the effect that bread has on ducks? Bread is a large debate because a, a lot of people do feed them uh, with white or granary bread but they it can bloat and wildfowl quite a lot. So in moderation it's good, but when everyone's feeding them, it, it can be problematic. Any saturated foods, it really lays on their stomach and it can bloat them so much so sometimes that they may not be able to fly. And they are semi-wild still. They've been domesticated for about 500 years as swans, but they still really need good nutritious food, whether it be by vegetation or being fed by good grains. But bread, it can be really stodgy, it's probably not even good for humans like bread with the yeast and the different um, 
substance is used in it, the manufacturing. How did the tradition of ducks eating bread occur? Feeding bread to the birds has been going on probably since between the Second World War or thereafter because it was mass produced more in a factory kind of way and it became cheaper. Whereas before it's quite a, a, a sort of elite um, staple food that people in, in the Victorian age well known they were carted off and being caught stealing loaded bread and feeding convicted and shipped to Australia. So it became more mass produced after the war and sliced bread and the white starchy and I think that's where people became more affluent and they could come and had more free time and wildfowling diminished in popularity and more conservation methods came in. Are there any positive effects? The effects of bread feeding them, if there's nothing else, it is good to, to, to give them. But it's a short term and sort of snack for them. And it, it, it doesn't really fill them up, it's, a te it's just a sh temporary. And it's not what they've been used to in the wild, but predominantly been bred by the monastic houses and the uh, land of the states used to keep them as a status symbol for food but also um, to breed as sort of um, trinkets and um, to show off so they would have been fed in compounds and not really the bread because the bread was just a, a staple of food for humans. What are the alternatives we could use? In the wild state, or the semi-wild, because they're so used to human contact now and have been bred by various people over the centuries, going back probably a thousand years or more to the Roman time, they, we can give them this uh, mix of grains and specially manufactured pellets. So the dry grass pellets is a nearest thing to the wild state that they... Well, there's corn here. There's wheat discs. And most of this is grown locally. There's Flake peas, and this is marine duck, is called. It's a funny name, but it's used in the duck breeding trade, and that's full of nutrients and vitamins. And that is, knows, can be, replicates the crustaceans that they eat naturally, and because they often pick up its shell and molasses in the, in the riverbed and they um, dive on, on the fringes of fresh water we're talking about mainly and um, but it's better if it's eaten um, in water so they can digest it because they haven't got um, a very large um, stomach because if it, if it was too big they wouldn't be able to fly Swan, so they've just got a small and they have a thing called a gizzard which allows them to sort of eat a, a, a gizzard tract and that they can eat and, and it digests easier through their than the um, it's human so it's more palatable for them for more information, please visit www.wolfemporium.co.uk. Thank you for watching.